Hey guys, welcome back to our Mississippi State Bulldogs Dynasty and NCAA Football 2003. Today, the Vanderbilt Commodores and Jake Cutler are coming to town. And with the opening kickoff, Vandy is set to kick it deep. And that is a very short kick to Jeremy Tate to the 10-yard line. And we turn this one up the middle. Juke left side and get it up to about the 30-yard line. And that is where Jeff Terry will take over on offense. First and 15 after a false start. Terry takes it up the middle by himself for the first down. So not a bad start for Jeff Terry. And they hand it off to Bryson Davis. Right side, nice juke move. Finds a lane to the outside. Past the 40, the 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Touchdown, MSU. So all it takes was two plays. And the Bulldogs go 70 yards for a touchdown. Hopefully that's an indication for how the rest of this game will end up panning out. Jake Cutler on offense. First play of the game. There's Peterson, and he goes maybe one yard forward before Michael Gillar made the stop. Third and eight. Cutler's going to have to throw it here. He goes deep, and he overthrows his target. He has a powerful arm. He has a cannon on that right shoulder. Too bad it's not very accurate. Bryson Davis breaking a tackle there, picking up maybe five yards on the toss play. Second and six. Kenny Harding up the middle, breaking a tackle, getting the first down. Good run for the true freshman fullback. First and ten. I formation. Option to the right side. Terry's going to keep it himself up the middle, and he's got 20 or more yards on the run before he is even touched. He's got two carries, 40 yards today. Vanderbilt, 115th in the country for yards allowed, 485 per game, and that is awful. Bryson Davis gets the pitch on the option, breaking a tackle, and he'll get five yards, and Kenny Harding has injured his chest on the play. That means Justin Garrett will come in and fill his spot, and they give the ball off to him, but he does not pick up the first down. Mike Randall on for the field goal attempt. The kick is up, and it is good. Bulldogs take a 10-0 lead here in the first quarter. Peterson with a nice carry left side. He'll pick up maybe eight or nine yards. Vanderbilt has 10 yards on the ground. Bulldogs have 118. Vandy has a very bad offense as well as bad defense, only averaging 274 yards of offense per game. That is 110th in the country. Now third and two, they're going to pitch it out to Peterson, and there's three defenders there to meet him, and Ben Sutton will recover the fumble. Our starting right outside linebacker trying to fill that void left by Gabe Wallace. Terry hands off to Davis, who somehow gets forward for four yards. Looked like he was bottled up for about a loss of five. Second and six, Jeff Terry option, pitches it out to Davis at the 20-15 all the way down to the 11-yard line. Bulldogs just running at will against this Commodore defense. Third and nine, though. Terry's going to have to throw it. Rolling right. Throws it into the end zone, and that is incomplete. And Terry took a shot after that throw. Mike Randall on for an easy field goal attempt. Right in the middle of the field. The kick is up, and it is good. So Bulldogs will have to settle for three on two consecutive drives. 13-0 is the score. Cutler trying to option left side, gets it out to Peterson, who will lose two yards. Another negative run play for the Commodores. Third and 12. Cutler goes right side, almost intercepted by Donnie Kramer, who dove for it. Michael Gillar on the deflection. Second and 12 for the Bulldogs in the second quarter now. Here is Terry on the option, and it looked like he might have broke it there. Nice tackle. And they are now at the 37-yard line after a 12-yard carry. And Terry's going to throw it, and he is dropped for a loss of seven by McKee. That is his first sack of the ball game, second tackle. Second and 16, Terry options. He's got Davis on the outside, who jukes, and he stiff arms the man, and he'll get the first down and more inside the red zone. Bulldogs threatening, looking to get some more points on the board and take a commanding lead in Starkville, Mississippi. Terry going to throw it here. Scrambling left side. He's got Bryson Davis wide open, and he turns up field and walks into the end zone for an easy touchdown. That is two weeks in a row now, I believe. He has a receiving touchdown. Jake Cutler looking to run it up the middle here on first down, and he will pick up seven. One of the best runs on the day for the Commodores. 
Counter play to Peterson. He'll get dropped for a loss of three. And that was Michael Galar coming up in the run support from the safety position once again. Bulldogs back on offense. Third and seven. Terry goes right side. That is John Pena up to the 20-yard line. He is Mr. Clutch when it comes to third down conversions. High formation. Terry up the gut. He'll pick up six more yards on the ground. He's got 51 on six carries. Second and four. Terry's got it again here. Following blocks and squeaks into the end zone for the touchdown. That is his first touchdown of the game. And that was a pretty easy one. Orlando Webb out there doing a nice job blocking at the receiver position. And here's Peterson getting past midfield, past the 40. George Tyler finally tracked him down at the 36-yard line. That is the best play for Vanderbilt today. Second and 10, three minutes to go in the first half. Cutler goes left side, and that was his first completion of the game. He is now one of eight. Third and two, play action from Cutler. He is crushed, and it is incomplete again. He's now one of nine. Let's see who put the pressure on him. I believe it was Desmond Mikuloff, sophomore defensive tackle. Fourth and two, they're going to go for it here. Play action again from Cutler going deep. And that is picked off by Michael Galar. And that is the fourth career interception for Michael. He also has 84 tackles. He's been a very solid player for us. Terry's going to option again here. He'll pick up eight more yards on the ground. Bulldogs just running right through this Commodore defense. And here he goes again. Picks up the first down and more up to the 28-yard line. Got 186 yards on the season on 44 carries with one touchdown, which we just saw. First and 15, nice spin move, but he puts it on the ground. Beard will recover it for Vanderbilt. Terry, 92 yards on 10 carries, but he just cost his team. They might allow a touchdown here now. Vanderbilt completes a pass there for about five yards. That was the Bulldogs' first turnover of the ball game. Third and five. Cutler going to the end zone, picked off by George Tyler, the ball hawking sophomore safety. And he's weaving in and out of traffic past the 20 yard line, past the 30, out of bounds at the 35 yard line. He reminds me of Sean Taylor when he gets his hands on that ball. It's very dangerous. Here's Justin Garrett picking up five yards up the gut. Second and five, Terry. Pump fakes. Left side, Webb catches it and he is rocked. But that will be the last play of the first half. So we had a couple incompletions in a row to end it. 27 and nothing is the score. 5 and 0 Mississippi State looking to improve to 6 and 0. Vanderbilt looking for their first win on the season there. 0 and 5. Nice completion of the halfback Peterson for the first down. Vandy has 27 passing yards today. And they're going to throw it again here. Cutler crushes he throws it and Peterson again makes the catch. For another first down, Cutler is 4 of 14 for 37 yards and 2 interceptions. And he gets the first down on the ground on that play. Commodores have 45 yards rushing. Mississippi State, 228. And that triple option attack. Here's Peterson up the gut. He should have had the first down, but instead he turned to the right side. Good run nonetheless. He's got 47 yards on 10 carries. And they'll give it to him again. He's got the first down. About a 2-yard pickup. Bryson Davis, eight carries, a buck 15 today. Wow. Play action from Cutler. Chase throws it and almost caught. But that's another incomplete pass for Cutler today. Fourth and five, they're going to go for once again. Cutler left side, and it's caught by Moore right in front of George Tyler. Great concentration by the receiver to get his hands on that ball and not worry about the defender coming out, out to hit him. And a nice catch by Page, getting it up to the two-yard line. Again, another catch against George Tyler. Let's take a look at that beautiful throw here from Jake Cutler. Right over the head. It didn't look like George Tyler saw the ball at all. First and goal for the Commodores. Cutler's got it. He pitches it out to Mercer, and he is caught by McCray at the one-yard line. He denies him the end zone. Second and goal from the one-yard line. Mercer gets the counter, and he is dropped for a loss. 
another stop here by the Bulldogs. Third and goal. Huge play. Mercer gets it again, and he is dropped for another loss. So the Commodores will have to settle for a field goal attempt after getting the ball to the one-yard line. What a stand by MSU. 15 plays, 79-yard drive ends in a field goal. That took 5 minutes and 11 seconds off the clock. Bryson Davis with a vicious spin move there. My goodness. And he gets it all the way to the 30-yard line. He's now over 150 yards on 9 carries. Second and eight. A minute to go here in the third. Here's Terry. Pitches it out to Davis. Jukes the man out. And he picks up five more yards. Bulldogs now have 274 on the ground. Third and three. Terry's going to roll left. Throw it left. And that is incomplete over the hands of Orlando Webb. Mike Randall on for the 45-yard field goal attempt. After a false start, the kick is up. And it is good. Bulldogs extend their lead. And this game is not even close right now. And here's Cutler getting sacked. He is dropped by Neil Nelson. Came through on the blitz. You see Mississippi State's defensive line completely destroyed the offensive line of Vanderbilt. Cutler hit as he throws. Almost picked off. And that was Neil Nelson again making a play. And if he had used two hands right here, he would have scored a touchdown. There's nobody in front of him. That'll end the third quarter. MSU on top, 30-3 to here in Starkville as Cutler throws another wild throw intended for Cummings. Fourth and 11. Lewis punting deep to Tate at the 48-yard line. And it returns up past the 40 to about the 38-yard line. It's a nice 14-yard return for the junior corner. Second and eight, Terry up the middle here. One yard shy of the first down, but that does get him to the century mark on the ground. 100 yards on 12 carries with one touchdown. Third and two, Terry's got it again, pitches it out, and that's Tremaine Young, and nice juke move, and he breaks the tackle, gets it to the 10 yard line. One of the best runs of Tremaine Young's career, and Mark Chaney has injured himself on the play. Hopefully he's okay. Here's Terry getting through the defenders up to about the three and a half yard line. Second and goal from the four. Terry up the middle for his second career rushing touchdown and second of the game. Score is now 37 to three. Jake Cutler looking to get his team into the end zone but he is sacked once again. This time it is Ben Sutton. And look at that. Bandy only has 131 yards of offense today. Usually average 418. And Cutler is dropped for a loss on an option play. That is Neil Nelson again making a nice play. Third and 15. Man in motion to the left. 420 to go in the ball game. Cutler quick pass to Oliver. And he is taken down after a 10-yard pickup. But he is five yards shy of the first down. Bulldogs on offense again. Here's Bryson Davis breaking a tackle. And he'll pick up four or five. He's got 163 yards today. That is good for a 14.8 yard per carry average. Unreal. And here's Terry gets the first down. Spins and puts it on the turf again. And Vandy will recover it. It's his second fumble of the game for Terry. And both of them were lost to the Commodore defense. Cutler looking to throw, goes right side. Nice throw to Cummings inside MSU territory at about the 47 and a half yard line. Second and nine, Cutler in the shotgun. He's gonna try to run up the middle and he is dropped by Neil Nelson for his third tackle for a loss today. Cutler left side, that was a backwards pass. That'll count as a run for a loss for Moore as Donnie Kramer makes a stop. Donnie Kramer has been a really solid player for us. Nine career interceptions, 88 tackles. Bryson Davis picks up five yards up the middle. And this game is well out of hand and well out of reach for the Commodores. And we're just trying to put some extra work in here on our offense as Tremaine Young has a nice run up the middle. And he's up to 31 yards on three carries today. Just trying to fine tune the offense here. With this game well in hand, we're just trying to figure out what players are really going to fit into this offense because if somebody goes down if Bryson Davis gets hurt 
we're in trouble because all we got after that is Tremaine Young and I can't even remember our third string halfback's name that's how irrelevant he has been so far As the Bulldogs do pick up another first down there that is the ball game MSU improves to 6-0 on the on the season and Vandy is now 0-6 after a 37-3 beatdown here in Starkville, Mississippi. Another good victory in the head coaching career of Ralph Kress. I believe that will extend our win streak to 12 victories in a row. Or 11, I'm not sure which one. But we had over 400 yards of offense. Vandy only had 152. We had 354 on the ground. Two fumbles lost today. We had three takeaways though. Two interceptions, one fumble recovery. Vandy was shut out in three quarters today, and MSU scored in all of them. Jeff Terry, three of nine, with one touchdown, no picks, sacked once. He also had 118 yards on the ground. Bryson Davis, 172 with a touchdown, five broken tackles. He also had a touchdown catch today, 18-yarder. Orlando Webb had one catch. Sean Pena with one catch. Jamie Keller, a lot of sack today. Michael Goulart, Donnie Kramer, George Tyler, Neil Nelson. Those are the top four tacklers today. Neil Nelson had three tackles for a loss and a sack. Ben Sutton had a sack. Two interceptions. George Tyler, Michael Goulart. One forced fumble. That was Donnie Kramer. He also had three pass deflections. Ben Sutton had the recovery. Mike Randall went three of three today. No punts. Let's take a look at the top 25 matchups for the week. Nebraska beats Baylor. Colorado beats Texas in Texas. Wow. Oklahoma beats Kansas State 21-9. Georgia Tech beats Wake Forest 27-20. Ohio State gets upset by UConn in Columbus 23-14. Overrated. Florida State wallops NC State. Michigan beats Iowa 18-13. Always a hard game to go into Iowa City and come out of, out of there with a win. Miami beats Boston College 55-3. They get back on track. They are number eight in the country. Syracuse beats Pittsburgh. TCU wins their ball game. Marshall beats Kent State by a million. UCF still undefeated. They beat Western Michigan 24-17. Washington wins against UCLA 24-20. Alabama gets destroyed by Georgia in Athens, 37-13. Bulldogs are ranked 21st in the country. Arkansas beats Kentucky, 41-14. Texas A&M beats Texas Tech, 41-17. And the Aggies are 6-0. LSU beats South Carolina, 37-20. Ole Miss destroys Florida, 31-7 in Gainesville. Tennessee beats Auburn, and that's big. We face Auburn next. Tennessee beat them 18 to 10. So it's two losses on the season for Auburn now. Boise State beats Hawaii and Fresno State beats Rice. And that'll do it for week seven. But we do not have a game in week eight, so we will take a look at the top 25 matchups for this week. Boise State beats Tulsa, 30 to 27. Next we got UTEP taking on Hawaii. And UTEP wins that one 23 to 16. We got Baylor traveling to College Station to take to take on Texas A&M, and that was not a close one at all. 48-17, Aggies on top. Colorado taking on Kansas, 35 to nothing. What a beatdown! Nebraska traveling to Missouri, and Nebraska loses it to Missouri. Wow, 20 to 13. Nebraska was ranked top 10. Oklahoma and Texas, the Red River Shootout. And Oklahoma wins it 30-26. to They're 5-0, ranked number two in the nation. Miami versus Florida State, one of the best rivalries in college football. And the Hurricanes destroy Florida State 30-13 in Tallahassee. And the Seminoles will no longer be ranked first in the country. Take a look at Maryland. And they finally win a game 45-13 after getting the number one recruit in the country. And North Carolina beats NC State in their rivalry game, 34-26. Notre Dame taking on Vandy. And Notre Dame will get back on track, 24-9. Vanderbilt drops to 0-7. And it just gets to a point where you got to feel sad and feel bad for them. 56-17, Michigan beats Minnesota. 
and the battle for the Little Brown Jug was not close this season. Ohio State versus Wisconsin, and Wisconsin gets wrecked 43 to 21. Boston College versus Virginia Tech, and the Hokies lose their first ball game of the season as the Eagles came to play 24-13. Syracuse vs. Temple, and Syracuse improves to 6-1. They went 46-13. They are ranked 11th in the country. you got to think they'll be in top 10 now that Nebraska lost their game. TCU beats Army 24-7. Fresno State vs. Southern Methodist, and Fresno State wins out 38-20. They are now 6-1 on the year. UCF vs. Marshall. Nationally televised game, and the Knights finally lose a game, and it wasn't against us. Marshall beats them 35-28 in Huntington, West Virginia. What a game. Auburn versus Arkansas, and Auburn loses again, 28-20. They are having a down season, but... Again, we have not beaten Auburn in this series yet. This will be our fourth try. Florida taking on LSU, and that was an overtime victory for the Tigers, 38-35 in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Let's take a look at the Georgia-Tennessee game. A couple top 25 teams. Georgia wins it 28-25 in Knoxville, Tennessee. That is another top 10 team losing this week. South Carolina versus Kentucky. The Gamecocks win 28-23, and that will do it for Week 8, our Week 9 matchup. We are number 2 in the country, traveling to Auburn, Alabama to take on the Auburn Tigers. And I really hope we can just get over that hump and get the victory against the Tigers this season. Oklahoma is our new number 1. Bulldogs number 2. Colorado at 3. Miami at 4. Washington 5. Florida State, Fresno State, UCF, Marshall, Syracuse, Texas A&M, Tennessee, Georgia Tech, North Carolina, Ohio State, Georgia, TCU, UTEP, Michigan, Texas, Nebraska, Boise State, Miami, Ohio, Memphis, and BYU. That is the top 25. But that will do it for this video, guys. I will see you next Saturday with our game against Auburn in Alabama. It's going to be a great matchup. I look forward to that one. I will see you guys Monday with some more Madden. Take it easy, guys.